Some time back, John created this scene and it's volumetric clouds. It's using procedurals. There's a benefit to this and it renders really, really fast. There's some tests here that I made. The reason why it renders fast is because it is using a well, you can download the scene here. The reason why it's fast is because it's using this uh, cookie cutting technique. And you've probably seen that in other new tech threads. The cool thing is that I shared the scene. So if I just go like VPR, you can see that it renders super fast. You can see though that it's one dimensional or two dimensional. But you know, it's quite cool. It renders in seven seconds. So if I go like full screen on that, renders. Well, that's not quite true because I have draft on. It will render slightly nicer if you uncheck draft. But for previews, uh, using draft is good idea. So yeah, yeah, you can save quite a lot of time doing that. I changed uh, the node setups slightly, so I just got these guys right here. So I don't want to mess too much with uh, the nodes. I'm no nodes guy, so I just try to keep it very simple. But the idea here is that you can tweak all of these settings and and get to have some quite interesting results. Yeah. What I wanted to test though was the new or not new Garner clouds from Dpont, and it can create some cumulus uh, alike uh, renders. So if I just move this out of the way and. Replace it with that one. Get something like that. I need to change the size though. So I don't know. Let's say something like this. And it looks funky, but we're going to invert it. So that's more cumulus. I like. Um, but I really need to tweak this further. Um, Like I said, I am not good at this node set. Already I got something cool, it's not what I want, but okay. This is what you should do as well, just try, just tweak it and see what you get. Now I got some thunderstorm. Uh, stuff going on. I guess that's more of what I wanted I think. Um, probably. So I'm just using that this uh, turbulence to create an alpha basically. So 
Ah, what do you know? It kind of works. Okay, now it's something more cumulus like. I think though, the, the more nodes you put in here, the more you're going to have to tweak this stuff. So now I have to tweak both the, the turbulence and the gardener. The crumple, um, well, certainly creates a different style. It's not quite what I want, is it? Again, it will look somewhat better if you um, render without draft. But again, that just slows down the preview, so I'm not going to do that. This is a slow computer, though. Said so that before, still true. But I really recommend that you check out his site and download uh, the preset uh, or <coughs> the source file. I'm not quite sure how much uh, more. <coughs> I should push this, but uh, okay, this is nowhere near cumulus, but uh, that's the thing though, uh, with this kind of stuff, it does take time, it does take time to tweak it. But this is one of those things that I uh, just uh, hope that uh, people could look into once again because it's really cool. The renders super fast. I mean, if you compare this render time to View and Terragon, well, from sources, View Terragon is 50 minutes, 50 minutes to render clouds. So can do this then you know that might be an idea uh, let's just see here if I can I'm just wondering if I take this cloud object okay so I can move it around like that but what if I clone it and I'll just move it backwards uh, I didn't work at all did it why didn't that work uh, that might have to do with the position of the procedure. Let's see if uh, no, nope. doesn't seem to agree, or does it? not using the word coordinates. It should have worked. Um, shouldn't it? I think it should. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just um, for some reason it's not You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with this too much. You know, it, it seems to 
not care about the transparency. Why is that? I don't know. But you know what? This is just a rough test, so. So, you know, if you want to, if you want to make that work, I'm sure you can. Just, I don't know, make it on the same layer or whatever. The point is that this is a cool scene, and you should download it. I tried to make a cumulus gardener clouds in 0.2 seconds. Didn't work, but I'm sure if you tweak it, then I think you should be able to do it make some thing more cumulus like uh, so that's the kind of clouds that I was kind of testing but didn't quite work but again this is something that is going to take a lot of testing so I'm not going to show that in this video. However, I just thought that uh, people should once again look at the scene because it's cool and renders super fast. So once again, thanks to John. That's it.